Hey, yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing another Beast Wars review, and that will be of Depth Charge. Look at this bad boy right here. Now, uh, before we get into anything at all, I noticed that the fins slash wings are a little off on his beast mode. That's because, for some reason, mine never ever lock into place, so I'm just leaving it there because, you know what? I'm going to be transforming him anyways. So... A little information about Depth Charge, and very low, I'm going to keep it cliff notes because there's a lot you can say about Depth Charge. Uh, Depth Charge was a security officer on Starbase Rugby, I think it was. I, I, the names, God, it's been too long. I have to rewatch Beast Wars. But, um, yeah, Rampage at the time, who wasn't known as Rampage, went, uh, went on a muck and killed everyone on the station. Except for Depth Charge. Depth Charge was the only one that was uh, left alive. And Depth Charge made it his life mission to find Rampage and to kill him. Uh, pretty plain, flat, and simple. Not bring him to justice. Not, you know, reincarnate him to kill him. Plain, flat, simple. Um, and he travels throughout the galaxy looking for him. And eventually, it brings him to the Beast Wars. He crash lands on Earth uh, using transmetal technology, apparently. Which he had. Um, scanned a uh, mantis ray and became this. Um, and it is transmetal because he has the ability to triple change, for lack of a better term. Um, and that's basically, again, his deal during Beast Wars is fire rampage and defeat him. You could say he's a Maximal, but he doesn't really work with the Maximals all that much. Only maybe 30% of the time does he work with the Maximals. And he, like I said, his goal is to find Rampage and to... Eventually, the two of them come to a head. Eventually, the two of them have their final battle. And it was pretty epic. They fight in the water. And uh, not to spoil anything, but this show's been out since 1996. So if you haven't seen it, then I'm sorry. Uh, Depth Charge takes an Energon sword and stabs it into Rampage's heart. Just brings it up and stabs it into his heart. Killing Rampage and killing himself in the process. It was pretty epic. And uh, next to Dinobot, probably the best death in Beast Wars. Uh, it was pretty badass. Powers and abilities wise. Um, oh god. Uh, abilities. You know, Depth Charge is a incredibly skilled fighter. Incredibly skilled. Among the best in Beast Wars. Uh, I mean, he's skilled in all areas. Tracking, shooting, melee hand-to-hand, -hand, you name it, he can, uh, he can do it. Um, also, in all three of his modes, he has armaments up the wazoo. He has more weapons than you will ever need. He can do a lot. A lot. There we go. Put his, uh, little missile launcher there. Um, he has, uh, as being a, uh, oh, well, personality-wise, he's a single-minded guy. I like to think of him as, and this is a horrible analogy, but I like to think of him as kind of like a, um, a Vegeta of sorts. He doesn't really work with the good guys. He's kind of a bad dude, but he has a good heart. He's just single-minded to his goals, and that's what he is. He's a very single-minded individual. Defeat Rampage. He could give a flying shit about anything else. Uh, so let's just get into the figure itself. Here is the... Uh, beast mode in all its uh, glory, and as I said, for some reason, for me, the wings just don't clip in as well as they should. Don't know why. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it just doesn't work for me. Someday I'll figure it out. But I don't really care enough. So, yes. Uh, Death Charger was always a cool character, and a lot of people loved him. I know a lot of my friends thought he was the best. Um, he was always up there on one of my favorites, but he wasn't my absolute favorite. That always went to Dinobot and then to Megatron, Black Arachne. He was probably within the top ten. Um, he also comes with the the Sharkpedo. Ha 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 ha! Pokemon! Hey hey! Sharkpedo, uh, a torpedo shark, which also substitutes as his gun. Now, being a transmetal figure, he has his three modes. Let me see if I can transform him correctly. Um, he probably, um, benefits from some of the best beast modes and, uh, third modes in the show, because, um, he can deal with, uh, air attacks, and he can deal with, um, ocean attacks, or sea attacks. 
Uh, so this is his fly mode, and it's just uh, change the fins up, and he turns into like a Cybertronian jet. And he does kind of look like the old pyramid jets from uh, G1 that the Seekers were before they actually became the Seekers. So that's actually kind of interesting. If you think about it. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna pause this. Uh, first, I'll let you get another good look. It's really nothing different. It's just the the wings are slightly changed. But I'm gonna pause this so I can transform this bad boy. Because let me tell you, uh, like Tiger Hawk, I'm sure I'm not gonna get uh, this guy's transformation right. So be right back. Okay, finally got him fully transformed, and uh, it took me a little bit longer than I thought, but not quite as long as it could have gone. Uh, here is. Death Charge fully transformed in his robot mode. Uh, noticeably, you can see I have the gun upside down. That's because you can't really hold it because of the fin is too large, so you can't really bend the arm. Um, but yes, a Death Charge from the front looks like a great figure. Very show accurate, very badass. Uh, has a lot of stuff. You can press the button back here, and well, I mean, that was a little anticlimactic, but there we go. And you shoot missiles or uh, power pizzas, <laughs> uh, and uh, his gun can shoot too. But mine is broken; it only goes out that far. So we might as well just stick those back in there. He's a, a figure with a good amount of fun gimmicks, and that's what he is—a gimmick figure. Because if you look in the back, you have a lot of kibble there, and it makes him incredibly back heavy. You're actually going to need this to prop him up properly. Um, you can't really see that, but that's what you have to do. Uh, articulation is good, the looks are good, the detail is nice, the paint is nice, I especially like the back with the aquatic look on the, uh, the fins, very good looking. Um, and on a whole, Depth Charge is a very nice figure, uh, hard to get figure, but once you get him, he is, he's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. A nice face, let me get you a look at the face, take off his weapons. He does have his, uh, tail sword, so maybe I can... Turn that to the side a bit. Uh, pretty good face, very show accurate face, very nice looking face. A very good body. And again, I like the metallic on here, the gold. That is a kind of a faded silver gold, but it is still a gold color. Um, it, it, it works well for the figure. You can flip the head up like such and you put the discs in there. And if you don't mind, I'm going to do that now. Because you never know, as any collector will tell you, those missiles, those little projectiles, they can go missing real quickly. Why do you think they call them missiles missing? So, just put the last of the power pizzas in there. And, there we go. Uh, so yeah, on a whole depth charge, I really love his robot mode. It does have its big fault here with the humongous back. Uh, but besides the back itself, the figure looks nice, it feels nice, uh, has a good range of articulation, and uh, on a whole, I think anyone would enjoy this. I don't think there'll be anyone out there that wouldn't enjoy this. I don't know how Depth Charge would be able to fight. He's such a back-heavy individual. And there goes the gun. If you didn't hear that, there goes the gun. Uh, he's a very back-heavy individual. He must uh, fall over a lot when he's doing his spinning reverse crescent kicks like he does in the show. Uh, but uh, he's still good looking, still badass. If you can get your hand on your figure, I really recommend it because it's a good figure. Very good figure. Uh, I know these reviews are a little brief. At least we have a good camera this time. So, uh, But yeah, I, I, I think online I paid... Uh, I paid a lot for Depth Charge. He's going to be a little bit expensive compared to some of the other ones. But it is kind of worth it. Whoa, look at that. My skin tone changes. It's pretty cool. Maybe you don't see this, but if you look, my skin tone changes. Neato. Anyways, uh, if you can get him, I recommend picking him up. Try to get him for cheap. It's hard to get him with all his parts. I lucked out on that, but not everyone's going to luck out. So, yes, depth chart. Um, I'm going to end this review here. Good figure, good characters. Andrew saying peace out for now.